you've been following God for any length of time, it's pretty likely that you've gotten caught up in what I call the Christian myth. It's a huge myth that's hard to stay away from. The reason why is a lot of people in church and outside the church believe this myth. But the problem is buying into this myth causes people insecurity, causes people to doubt, and ultimately causes people to lose faith. The myth that I'm talking about today is this, God wants me to be happy. You ever thought about that? Have you ever felt that? There's so many scriptures that we could use to, to try to back this idea up. In fact, there are so many scriptures and stories that we may have even heard that could cause us to buy into this myth. And the thing about this, this myth is that no one really explicitly tells you God wants you to be happy. I mean, maybe, but for the most part, you just sort of feel this is the way it should be. If he's a good, loving, caring God, then of course he'd want us to be happy, right? The Apostle Paul wrote a passage of scripture that embodies one of God's ultimate desires for our life. It isn't happiness, but it's far more impactful than that. Paul said, and we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his purpose. So right here, Paul introduces God's purpose for our lives. And in the next verse, he reveals what it is. For those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son. This is it. This is what God's ultimate goal is in every circumstance, that we would be conformed to the image of his son. Through, through the divorce, through the, through the betrayal, the, the job loss, the breakup, whatever it is, God's desire isn't that you're happy. God's greatest desire is that we would take every situation and let it conform us into the image of Jesus. We've tried going through hard things in our own strength and doing it our own way. And where has that left us? As a matter of fact, for a second, think back to the last hard circumstance you went through. Now imagine how you would have handled it if your perspective wasn't, I thought God wanted me to be happy, and instead was, God, you're using this to make me more like Jesus.